I finally got my hands on a Telfar, so here's everything you're gonna need to know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Celeste. We talk about all things luxury shopping and handbags. If you love those things, make sure to subscribe, hit that bell notification. I do post videos every week. So I recently got my hands on a Telfar bag. I got this through. So I finally got my hands on a Telfar bag. I'm gonna walk you guys through how I got it, how much it costs, what fits, review, and stay tuned for the end because we're gonna have a giveaway. So I got this back in October during the rainbow drop. I've been looking at Telfar for probably the last year and a half and it's always been really difficult to get because they drop normally like 9 a.m. on a Monday morning Eastern and I'm in Pacific time zone. So like I would have to wake up at like 6 a.m. So there was never any time that I really wanted to get it, let alone it was always like sold out. It was hard to get. So I finally pulled the trigger when it was the rainbow drop. They had all of the colors drop on, I think it was like October, sometime in October. And you could pick which color, which size. Um, and there was no limit to like how many you can get as well. So I picked up three. I got this one. I got one for the giveaway. And then I ordered one for my friend as well. So this is the mini size, maybe the small, either small or mini. This is the smallest size. There's a medium and a large, but you're going to know for sure that this is the smallest size because look how tiny it is. Um, this bag retails for $1.95 and it's made out of vegan leather slash polyurethrin. And I feel like it's a little bit pricey for vegan leather. Um, but because you really can get like vegan leather at like Target for like 40 bucks, right? Um, but you are 100% paying for the branding and you could say that about any designer handbag, you're paying for the branding. Um, I personally really love what Telfar stands for and that's one of the reasons why I wanted to like buy a bag from them because they just really support the brand and the designer in general. Um, and I love that they're making luxury accessible, you know? Um, so I really appreciate kind of what they stand for. I don't mind paying $200 for a vegan leather bag. If you're looking for leather alternatives for like ethical reasons, environmental reasons, this is a great option. Um, but yeah. So I figured let's just get into the what fits and then we'll get into the review. Okay, so here's everything that fits in this bag. I did jam it pretty packed, um, as you can see, but a lip gloss, I have my hand sanitizer, um, I also have some sunglasses, which I kind of shoved in here. Don't come for me for that. I know they're going to get scratched. Um, I also was able to fit my key card holder, my AirPod Pros, um, and then I can also fit my small like water bottle. I don't know if anyone who needs this, but it does fit in here. Um, same with a phone. I have the uh, iPhone 14 Pro. Um, and that's the regular size. I don't think the max will fit. Um, and then I also had my passport handy, so I figured I'd shove that in there as well. But yeah, that's everything that fits in here. So in terms of the review, I think this bag fits quite a bit. And I'm kind of shocked that my phone fits in here as well. Um, but your phone, card holder, keys, I mean like pretty much anything fits in here and it's great. A few things I would like to change about the bag. Um, number one, I don't love the two straps for the um, shoulder bag. So I feel like one is enough. I don't think we really need two. Um, and then on top of that, they're not adjustable and or removable. So for me right now, I have to kind of like shove it back into the bag if I want to just kind of keep it more tame. And if it's perfect for me, but I'm 4'11", so I think if anyone is taller, it's gonna sit like a pretty high crossbody if you're looking to wear it as a crossbody, or you can always wear it as over the shoulder bag. I was nervous because I am so short and this strap isn't adjustable that it would be too long for me, but it actually fits really well, and so I can't really complain about that, but I would have liked to see a removable strap and an adjustable strap just so it's a little bit more inclusive so anyone and everyone can wear it. I would have also really liked to see a zipper closure. Um, I can imagine the bigger sizes if there isn't a zipper and your bag were to topple over like all your shit's just flying out so um they do have a little magnetic snap closure um but I don't really use it I think I prefer like a zipper because if you do have a snap closure you can't really fit as much as if you just have like a zipper on the top another like pro for me um I talked about this a little bit earlier I do really love what the brand stands for the quality is actually pretty good as well I've heard some reviews say that the leather has like peeled um but I haven't had any issues with that granted like this is a new bag as well and I also think the mini size or the small mini um also has less like peeling issues just because it's like a little bit like the stitching is like closer together 
the bag is smaller there's just less service area I don't know if that makes sense um and then also I want to note that the stitching is actually really good on this bag um I've had some more expensive handbags where the stitching is just not aligned it's just it's it's not great and I think for this price point of a bag it's actually really good and I'm kind of surprised because Jack Moose um you could take some notes this is kind of a I don't know if this is a con this is maybe just a personal opinion Th this is a personal opinion I think that there is a this is the mini size and then the medium size is a very big jump I think with the medium size you can already fit a 13 inch laptop so I wish there was a size kind of like in between it's almost like with the Dior book tote there's like the mini book tote and then there's like the now it's called the medium but like before it was called the small so there was a very big jump between the mini and the small I think if we could see an in-between size I've seen a lot of people request like because this is kind of too small for every day if you carry a lot for me I don't carry that much um uh, but if you do carry more than the bare essentials then this is going to be a little bit too small for you so if you can have like a small size in between that like maybe fits an ipad um and like an umbrella or a water bottle i think that would be a very practical size and i think a lot of people would opt for that size i also love that i picked it in purple because i do not have a single purple bag um i don't wear a lot of purple in general um you guys know like i normally wear like pinks and grays and beige white and black that's like that's, that's my entire outfit um but I don't have a ton of purple so I love that this is like a little bit of a pop of color but it's still like a pastel because I wear a lot of pastels so I'm very excited um I think that like because the price point wasn't that expensive um I'm able to offer like a different color that I would normally reach for um and then if I don't use it then I can always just you know like sell it off or whatever um but I think this is such a fun color and I'm very excited to use it especially for like spring and summer I think this would be amazing we also talked about this a little bit earlier but like in terms of the price point I think like for a handbag for a designer handbag this is not badly priced Kate Spade um Marc Jacobs Tory Burge they're kind of all in this same price range Polen's a little bit more expensive Strawberry's a little bit more expensive Coach depending on the bag is a little bit more expensive so in comparison to other contemporary brands I think this is pretty like reasonable for the price point um however when you're comparing to like Kate Spade and Michael Kors and Tory Burch they're using natural leather and then this is vegan leather slash polyutherin so it kind of really depends on your personal take I don't have a strong opinion either way I think for the price point when you're comparing it to luxury designer handbags the Dior's and the Chanel's this is still a very reasonable price point but of course you are paying for the logo right here because I think that you could probably find a very similar option off of Amazon for like 20 30 bucks now for the giveaway so I picked a, I think it's called the camel, maybe the tan color. I'm going to give you guys a quick little sneak peek. Um, this is her. I, I mean, this was not planned, um, but I do really like this color. And I picked this color for you guys because I feel like this is the most gender neutral and the one that people can easily incorporate into every outfit it's be either between kind of like a neutral color like this or like black and I feel like people have too many black bags these days um me included so I picked this color I think this is so cute I'm so excited for whoever gets this I hope you guys use it I just say this a lot for every bag but I do feel like Telfar is a very gender neutral style sometimes some handbag styles gear a little bit more feminine than masculine but in general I feel like Telfar is a very gender neutral style so I think this bag is going to be perfect for everyone and anyone um so yeah so in terms of how to enter the giveaway all of the information is going to be on my Instagram and if you follow me on Instagram TikTok like you should not be missing this information um but this is really like my way to say thank you for all of your support um I know in the last year and a half two years even like just growing on TikTok has just been honestly life-changing and so this is just a small token of my appreciation um I am planning to have this go live like the giveaway go live when I reach 300,000 followers on TikTok so probably either a around 300,000 or like close to 300,000 um but keep an eye out for my Instagram you'll be seeing a ton of announcements on it and I'm so excited to give this away and I can't wait for whoever to get this and really enjoy this Telfar bag okay so that sums it up for this video I hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments which Telfar size you guys prefer if you already have one or which size you would want to get I hope you guys enjoyed this video make sure you follow me on Instagram and on TikTok and stay tuned with all of the giveaway news and details and I will see you guys in another video Bye.